Hello everybody, Steve Porter and Corey Fiasco here for another episode of the Disney Dining Show. It's actually going to be the second Disney Dining Show we uploaded this week. Not going to be the last time either because even though we have the 7 and 7 going on, we still have new stuff to share with you. We've got so. lots of dining stuff happening yep. all at once. Uh, but we are, yes, this is the restaurant of source, if you can see behind us. Uh, and it's a special event going on. I don't know if it's an event or what, it, what to call it, but according to Disney, the paleontology students have conspired to open a fun and exclusive burger joint at Restaurant Osaurus uh, that will offer handcrafted burgers along with a build your own Sunday. Uh, it's $22.99 for adults and $14.99 for children three to nine. Um, I believe you can use a quick service dining plan meal credit for this, so that's pretty good. Yeah, value. that's not bad. Um, We'll have to see if it makes up for the fact that I typically do not like this restaurant. Yeah. I you have the same feelings. I've dined here probably three times. Once out of my own, like I wanted to go here, and twice because they had like things going on here for Earth Day and stuff that I was coming to cover. Never liked it. Yeah. But we'll so see. It's a hard restaurant, I think, because it's like the just the classic. Hopefully, this night is different. But yeah. typically, it's just that like classic bland Disney burger. Um, and I know this says gourmet burger, so hopefully the meat's gonna be a better quality. I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll see about it. But I have a hard time because usually, it's like hard to compete with Satuli. Yeah. You know, Satuli is at such a higher level, and for the price, and that Satuli is, you know, just as the same price or sometimes less, depending on what you get, right. than here. Harambe too. Yeah, it's hard to justify that, right. usually for me. So hopefully tonight will be different. Let's check it out. So we're waiting for our food right now and um, you kind of have this blank white canvas here that you can color and do whatever you want with with some stencils but it's obviously not blank anymore. Yeah, it's a fun time. It's like a little coloring session. I'm digging it. Like obviously it's targeted towards kids that want to have a good time coloring but adults like me can have just as much fun because it's a good time. Uh, yeah, I mean, so far I've been pretty impressed considering I normally hate this place. Corey was echoing the same thing just yeah. a little earlier. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems cleaner than it usually is. It seems less hectic in here because there's less, like, I think less foot tra traffic of people, like, hustling and bustling through. And, you know, people are coming to sit down, have a meal, and leave. And, you know, there's not just, like, a random person in here just getting a break from the heat, which I, I have, I'll admit I've done that before in quick service locations, but because it's like, they're, it's kind of roped off, so there's no just like random people in here. Um, I don't know, I, I mean, if the food is good, this it might be surprisingly better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I'm still gonna hold off to give my food review until I've had my food, but so far things are looking up. Yeah, so I mean, like Steve just mentioned, we haven't eaten anything yet, but we just kind of wanted to just plug in. Uh, we've interacted with a few different cast members since we've come in, and so far it's been a really good experience. Uh, this area that we're seated in is really clean. I mean, every time I've been in here, I will admit that it's been kind of like a disaster. Uh, it looks really good right now. But we're still waiting for our food where we have fun drawing dinosaurs, and we got these two little vouchers to make our ice cream sundaes when we're done. And you could always, I mean, come here and get your ice cream sundaes and be eating them right now while you wait for your burgers. That's totally fine. Any, any, anything goes, but uh, I think we'll wait till afterwards. But I'm really excited for ice cream and that toppings bar looked kind of impressive. I, I, I'll admit it. It was a pretty impressive array of toppings. Okay, I'll make this pretty short and sweet. It's just one other quick thing that I wanted to mention, but I was excited about because I really like sauces. Um, they're not healthy for you, make you gain a lot of weight, but you slather on some good sauces, it makes a meal a lot better. Uh, and they have quite a few, it's not just like ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. There's like a buffalo chicken, or a buffalo ranch uh, dip, uh, there's some regular ranch, there's a honey mustard, there's a, a horseradish dip, um, and I think one other one that I'm forgetting, but you know, quite an array of options, not just your standard, you know, Thing. So I thought that that was kind of a cool thing. I'm not. I'm, I haven't been in Restaurant Restaurantosaurus probably in 
three months, I want to say, or maybe more. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's a normal thing. I don't think it is. So, but if it is, that's kind of cool. I mean, props to them, even though I don't like this place. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to dip some fries in that because I love me some sauces. My burger was delicious. I was not thinking I was gonna like it. I thought, uh, well, they're just gonna put an egg on the generic Disney burger. And I, they, that's the weird part is they might have, but it's so max, masked by the egg and the bacon and the cheese. And there's like potato chips at the bottom too to add like a crunch to it. But there's so much going on that I really couldn't tell if it even was that bad Disney basic burger um, because it really tasted great. Um, I also have to give them props for presentation. These plates are kind of cool. They're like wooden plates. Uh, the fries are not like the Disney generic fries. They're like a steak fry with like, you know, thick, good for dipping into sauce like I have. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I'm impressed that the burger was uh, not super dry like Disney burgers are typically are. So maybe that makes me believe that it isn't just that frozen, you know, basic generic burger. The uh, egg was also, I thought they were gonna overcook the egg because Disney, I think, typically tends to go on the safe side of like, we wanna make sure this is, let's cook the hell out of this because we don't want anyone to get food poisoning. Um, but no, I mean, everything I thought was cooked perfectly. Uh, the, the bacon was even crispy because I hate, un like, if uh, fatty bacon is not cooked like all the way, I, that's just gross to me. I don't, don't like that at all. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm gonna eat every bite and I thought I was pleasantly surprised. All right, so I got the plant-based burger uh, and for the side I chose to get onion rings. Uh, and same with Steve, this was really, really good. I'm actually extremely impressed. Uh, there was like an, there's like an onion, uh, onion with like some sort of like Worcester sauce on top of, of the, the patty. And then, uh, you know, arugula, tomato, uh, and the bun is nice and toasted. It was incredible. And if you've never had Beyond Meat, it literally tastes exactly like a regular hamburger. And I'm not just like, I'm not just trying to preach to the choir here. I've had, I was actually uh, on a plant-based diet for about nine months when I first got out of the service. And I've had lots of different plant-based burgers and, and foods like that. Beyond Meat is literally, it tastes just like a regular burger. And um, I'm kind of impressed that they have this here right now. I know a lot of places are picking up on that. But I think the, the biggest point um, that I didn't even catch, but Steve just brought up is, yeah, these are not quick service Disney fries. These are like nice, crispy steak fries. Like you could go to some sit down restaurants and order fries and get the basic, you know, quick service Disney fries. So that's impressive too. Um, but all in all, like, I'm, I'm really impressed with this. Uh, we are about to go get our Sundays though. I'm really excited for that. I don't think this review could go anywhere but positively from here. Uh, because it's ice cream that I get to top with as much stuff as I want. Whether or not I get sick, that's not going to affect my opinion of this meal. I'm, I think it's pretty good. So we just had our ice cream and finished up our meal like you just saw. Uh, what did you think, Steve? I was, I mean, I thought it was really good considering, you know, $22.99, I think the price was for the, both of us. What was it, like 48 something with, I don't know. If, like, no discounts. No so discounts. I, I mean, I have all the discounts, Tables in Wonderland, DVC, you name it, but no discounts for this. So yeah, the total came out too. I can find out exactly. Wait, what's the math on that though? Because if it's 22 Wait, we might have to do this over. So it's twenty two ninety nine, and the total for the two of us came out to be after tax forty eight ninety seven. Oh, I wasn't thinking about tax. Okay, I was about to say we need to end this video because this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, okay, tax, 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 tax. Yes. Yep. 
Um, It'll I, get you. Yeah, I, I, I think that's fair for what that was. I mean, it wasn't. I, I still, I still think I'd rather go to Satuli. Yeah. To be honest, but still, leaps and bounds above any other time I've gone to restaurant Asaurus. Exactly. For sure. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And like, I, I, I agree with you completely with the, the, the twenty two ninety nine. Uh, do I think it's fair? Yeah, I do think it's fair. Are there other places in Animal Kingdom I could eat food I'd rather eat cheaper? Also, mm -hmm. yes. Definitely. Uh, but with that being said, if this was the first experience I've, I've ever had at Restaurantosaurus, I'd be like, oh, I'm definitely coming back here. Mm -hmm. And after this, I think I will come back here with Haley because I really did. This experience was pretty, pretty great, I think. Yep. Um, and I mean, like I said at the beginning of the video, like Steve said, every other experience I've had at this restaurant has been terrible. Mm -hmm. So for it to like, they, they, they definitely stepped their game up and I hope they continue with this experience because it's it's good, it's yeah. really good. Yeah, I, I'm actually kind of curious now, I'm, I need to go back and see what else, what's on their normal menu because I don't really remember. Just to see, you know, can, is anything on their normal menu even comparable to how good this was? Because that would kind of change my opinion of the restaurant as a whole. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, again, back to Satuli, it's still probably my go-to in Animal Kingdom. But mm -hmm. this kind of, you know, opened my eyes to, okay, well, there's other options. If, you know, Satuli doesn't sound great to you and you're more of a burger person, right. this is definitely an option. Yeah, I mean, like for me, Satuli and Harambe are still going to be my go-to quick service because this is this is definitely still quick service. Mm -hmm. uh, they make it they make it feel like table service, and I mean, they do bring the food to your table, which I like, but it is still definitely quick service, um, and the price is still a little bit more than you would pay at Satuli or mm -hmm. Harambe. So I'm still going to go there, but I will be coming back here with Haley because that Beyond Burger was great, and she loves Beyond Burger, so I'm sure. She'll want to try that out, but yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Thank you so much, guys, for staying tuned to the second Disney Dining Show this week, and we look forward to seeing you in many, many more. Take care.